I think uh, uh, the production designer is one of the leads of the visual, you know, uh, the, the, the visual part of the films. Obviously, in this, for that, you need three people. You need uh, the vision of a director, and then you need a cinematographer that will make light and frame and uh, the more concrete things, which are basically sets, um, objects, colors, and color palette, will, will be basically the work that I do. So it's, it, I think it's crucial in creating uh, a world for each film that has its own rules and that it, it could be coherent. Right. Well, the, the Pale Man belongs to the fantasy, so the fantasy had very specific rules, visual rules. It was um, all full of curves that would embrace somehow uh, Ophelia. And even though it's a, a frightful scene, it's a scene that it's warm itself. It's way, uh, the reality is way more, you know, more scary uh, just because, um, you know, you have a concrete thing. She's losing her mother. She, uh, she had to deal with this uh, Capitan Vidal, which is the, you know, the, the, the very evil character uh, in our film. So, so I think that, um, so what we did is we built this uh, with those rules, with this specific palette of color, and we create the pale man, which is um, this this um, this character that actually stayed in the in the mind of the people a lot, and that comes from Guillermo's uh, uh, first idea and was developed uh, in order to have this suit um, that an actor would wear. And uh, and uh, and he will play with so so I think that was a, that was the thing behind that. Well, the tsunami it's a, it was a very complex thing to do. We had to plan it for a long time to think about how we're going to approach to this to to and and succeed. Uh, so we decided to use a miniature. Um, we didn't want to go full digital because water it's very hard that it gets especially. You know, especially um, back then, it was almost 10 years ago, and uh, so the technique has has changed so much. Um, but water is one of those elements that you're. it's always hard to look good if, you're, if it's full CG, if it's full digital. So, so we decided to make a miniature, and, uh, and that's the way we shot it. We shot it in, in one third of, of, of the real size. It's a combination of very top-notch um, CG technique with uh, with an old school model that collapsed physically. Uh, I think we had nine cameras with uh, one shot, so uh, we were all nervous about if it will turn, oh, 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 you know, okay or not. And uh, but uh, in there you have also the acting of of um, of Liam Neeson, which was. Uh, which was the monster, and uh, so you that we did with motion capture, which you know it's a um, it's a complex techni digital technique. Uh, um, uh, so so it was great, it, you know, it was great to mix all these things. Well, that riot had a big impact impact in Mexican society. We all are marked for that. So it's very hard when you have to do, um, you know, one of these, let's say, landmarks on, on history. Um, that was that happened in 1971, um, and uh, we really wanted to shoot it in the same street where that happened. So that was full, you know, it was very heavy energy loaded scene you know like and uh, so what we did is uh, we f found in the photographs um the building the exact building where the where the furniture store was now it was a gym so we basically uh, get it for many months and we changed the whole structure of that and um, then we change most of the things physical, we end up erasing some things digital, like there's a huge avenue that passed now, that overpass um, the next corner, so we had to 
remove it digitally and obviously the camera is up there so it's not about the massacre it's about how that massacre affects your character so that's why we're closing we're close to those characters and the thing that it's important for for us was that um, that we were kind of matching the pictures that we had the reference so every extra a uh, all the custom design everything was exact we tried to find the most similar um, characters uh, to what we found in the pictures one of the things that uh, big challenge was to create all the the police and military vehicles uh, because at the end we didn't we had to make them from scratch so um, so we took old trucks and um, we took molds of them and and end up doing kind of a Frankenstein right. now to get them I mean, it gives you more opportunities, but in terms of creation, you're the same. You have to face the ideas by yourself. You can have a, you know, an Oscar or whatever, but at the end, when you when it comes to creation, you're naked there. And when you present your creation, let's say a set to an actor or to, uh, to a director, I feel uh, the, uh, the same with the same vulnerability that I used to have. No, because I do it too, you know, I mix both of things. So it's, I cannot miss something that I'm dealing with all the time too. So um, for me, visual effects is another brush. You can use it delicate or you can have broad strokes, um, but it all depends on the ability of who makes it who and how you use them. Um, if you use them correctly, I think they can be extremely subtle as well. So I, I like to think of that um, when I'm when I'm designing, uh, when I'm solving the puzzle of what we will do physical and what will we do digital. <laughs>